Hello everybody, my name is Nathan and here today we are going to be checking out IOI's Very Very Very. Okay everyone, if you've been a very long time viewer of this show, you guys already know that IOI is my number 2 bias under TWICE. And when this music video dropped on Sunday, words cannot express how much I was spazzing out because I could not watch the music video at the time. I kid you not, for a full half hour, I was just like internally screaming because I could not watch this video. But here today, the restriction has been lifted, it's Monday, I can finally do a reaction to IOI's comeback and what I think is going to be their last comeback of this year. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this could possibly be IOI's last song before their disbandment in January. Which I pray is not true, because we still got like two more months left with them before January comes around. We still got November, we still got December. They can sneak another music video in till then. They could probably sneak in a full album maybe. I don't know guys, it could probably just be wishful thinking on my part. But today we are going to be checking out IOI's Very Very Very. And this time instead of 7, we got the full OT11 team back. Chaeyun is back, Sejong and Mina are back, and Yeonjung is back. And this song was produced by none other than Mr. JYP himself. So nothing can prepare me for what's to come in this music video. I've been hearing that it's very Red Velvet-ish E. If this song is as good as What a Man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna die. I'm gonna probably order some tombstones on Craigslist. But you know what, guys? Let's get started, shall we? Uh. Wits. Let's go. All right, with that long intro on the side, let's get started in three, two, one. Okay, uh, they're all back. They're all back. Okay, I gotta get used to OT11 again. Nice socks. Okay, I can kind of see why these um why people have been saying that. Oh, they're all so adorable. I can see why people have been saying it's really red velvetish. Hmm. Okay. Pretty fast if you ask me. Oh, Sejong is back. Oh, I miss this girl. Very poppy if you ask me. Oh, kill kill. <laughs> okay, I can really see why they compare it to Red Velvet, because even the, the outfits and their makeup too with the freckles too. Is that an upside down basketball court? Taeyeon lost a lot of weight. Oh my baby, I knew ya. <laughs> oh, so she's actually legit singing in the song, not rapping. Okay. Ah, Yeon Jung, my cosmic girl. <laughs> I see you doing the drums with your face. This is really cute dance right here. Kind of reminds, reminds you of Cheer Up like that. <laughs> Nah, young. Uh, I'll tell you guys after. Ah, Chung Ha even has. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, that's not you, Jung. Mina can rap. Mina can rap. Mina can rap. That's my baby right there. Again with the face percussions. <laughs> Doesn't that hurt? It's really cute if you ask me. It's really cute. I know this chorus is probably gonna take, um, for some people, it's gonna take a very long time to get used to. Oh, so hey, she's got the bridge. Oh, now leg percussions. Okay. <laughs> ah. This whole music video is very adorable and colorful. Very colorful, if I do say so myself. So many colors. 
Oh my god. Oh no, is it is the song the song's fading? No, please don't don't end. Don't end, please. No 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 the song is ending. Oh <laughs> just shimmying while doing this. Oh, that's the end of it. Mm. Alright guys, so let's get into this, shall we? Alright guys, so here we had IOI's very, very, very. I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, this is kind of bittersweet for me. Because like the national producers out there, what I think IOI's fandom is, we don't have a fandom name yet, but I'm just going to call us the national producers. Like other national producers out there, I kind of, I'm under the impression that this is IOI's last music video before their disbandment. Knowing that this could be their last music video, it's... It really hits you right here, but I'll leave all my sappy feelings and my um, my thoughts for another video or for later on. Let's just get into this music video and focus on that, shall we? It doesn't really seem here that there's much of a storyline happening in this music video like what a man did. It's more of just the IOI girl showing off their quirkiness and their playfulness. I mean, just look at that dance and tell me that's not like the most playful dance you've ever seen in your life. And this music video has so many vibrant colors, like like the reds in this music video. That's bright. The yellows of this music video that's bright there's not one dull color in this music video except for like the amenities in the back like a light switch or a water fountain but other than that the one word that i can use to describe this entire music video is bright for most people i'm pretty sure it's gonna take a very very long time for them to get used to the chorus of it it's something that we weren't expecting from ioi considering how ioi has a lot of colors to be associated with them we honestly wouldn't know what to expect from them and i did not expect this from them Honestly, I'm considering how these girls are my second bias group like you would think that I would spaz to almost every single thing about them. Heck, I even have I even have posters of them right here. But even for me, I think it's going to take a while for me to get used to this song too. It's kind of the same concept as Pick Me, except for me it's not going to take months to get used to this song because Pick Me, it took me a very, very long time to get used to. It's kind of like the auto-tune from EXO's Lotto. It just takes a very long time to get used to. But moving on, I can definitely see why people have been relating to this, or they've been comparing this, to Red Red Velvet's music videos. Because we all seen Red Velvet's music videos, they're all really bright, they're all really quirky. And as IOI does a similar concept like this, I can definitely see why people would think so. The reason could probably be that the music video directors could be the same person. But just a reminder out there that no one group owns one concept. I mean, boy groups have done so many dark concepts along the way. BTS, VIX, GOT7, just to name a few. Instead of making harmful comparisons, let's just take a moment to just appreciate that they're actually coming back with something. And that they shook things up a little. And the perfect example from this music video were to be Mina rapping. Like, I did not know that Mina can rap like that. To my recollection, I don't remember Mina rap ever rapping in Produce 101. I don't even think she rapped in Goo Goo Don's album either. Why are you just showing us this now? I mean, after Nayoung's rap verse, I was completely expecting Yu Jung to, to, to take the part after her. But no, Mina just, just like... Boom! Mina, what are you doing to me, girl? This is not the same girl that's in this music video right now. But yes, guys, this was IOI's very, very, very. Hopefully, it is not their last music video or their last song of the year. I'm just wishfully thinking that they would come out with something else in the next two months or so. Maybe something to say thank you to all the national producers out there. Hopefully, a full album or something. Because up till now, we've just been getting mini albums. I can only expect, I can only wish that they would release a full album in the next span of two months. Maybe a conglomeration of all their songs songs from Produce 101 up till now, but that could just be wishful thinking on my part. I wouldn't say that I was completely blown away um, in comparison for this music video to What a Man, but I would say that I really enjoyed this song and this comeback. It's really fun, it's really colorful, it's really playful, and I'm sure just give it a couple of weeks and people will already get used to the song and love it just as much as the most hardcore national producers out there. I almost forgot the quote unquote fandom name for a second. But yes guys, what do you think about IOI's Nomu Nomu Nomu? Did you have a hard time adjusting back to OT11? And like me, would you guys also be expecting IOI to come out with just one more activity, one more album, one more mini album at the very least. Would you guys expect IOI to do one last thing before their disbandment in January? Let me know and more in the comment section down below. But that's my time guys. My name is Nathan, SYJ Official. Until then, see you guys next time. Bye.